Today's topic, guys, how to build broken trust in relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is another wonderful topic we want to really check out. And please don't forget, if it's your come time of come across in this my video, what are you waiting for? Kindly subscribe to this channel so that you get updates about marriage and relationship. You understand? Don't forget that every day we all learn from each other and also each other from mistakes. So today we are talking about relationship. If you are in relationship or you are still in marriage, you can pick one or two things and you are going to learn from it. So let's not waste my time. Let's get started. How to rebuild broken trust in relationship. So I'm going to mention some elements or things that can help you. If you are in a relationship, let me explain the part before I mention them one after the other. If you're in a relationship, or by the relationship is not going well. So these things I'm going to mention, if you practice it, you put into constructions, you are going to understand it perfectly. You understand? You are going to make that your relationship work. Okay? So let me not waste your time. If you are in a relationship, your relationship is not going well, it's not going perfectly the way it's supposed to be so just listen to this video from the beginning to the ending and we're going to understand it perfectly and if you put into practice it's going to help your relationship go higher in life so now number one you need to look into if you want to rebuild your broken trust in relationship what it makes is that if you want maybe you are you are in a relationship either your your partner maybe the relationship is not going well and what happened is is no, the way the person did some things which is totally wrong to you. So now, if you are in a relationship and a relationship is not perfectly, I don't want to talk much. Listen to this element I'm going to mention above, and you put into practice, you put your relationship back to life again. So now, how to rebuild broken trust in relationship? Number one, consider the reasons behind the lies of betrayed. It makes that. Maybe your partner do some things that is not good, like lying or betraying, and that trust and belief and everything has gone. So what I'm trying to say is that I know that moment as a woman or as a man, you will feel so angry, so annoying that you don't want to listen to your partner, you don't want to even hear from your partner what the partner did to you that made the person to shit on you or that made the person to lie to you, that made the person like to betray you, all those things. You don't want to give the person listening ear. And this is number one thing that I'm talking about. So if it happens in your relationship, how you can rebuild it is that could I know it's not easy. After taking some time to cool down, listen to your partner and lay him or her out the reason why he or she did what she did. You understand? That is what I mean by number one point. So now let's check the second one, which is communicate and work on the relationship. Yes, like I said before, you have to communicate. You have to know the reasons why those things is not working, you understand? Because, you know, relationship is not easy. It's, the, it's two different people that is coming together, you understand, to make the relationship work. So you, both of you have to understand yourself. Both of you have to communicate. And that is how you can understand yourself perfectly, you understand? So that is it. You have to work on it. It's not Relationship is not made for one person to work on. Both of them have to agree. Both of them have to tolerate themselves. Both of them have to communicate. This is what I like. This is what I hate. You know, you understand the matters a lot. When you communicate what you like, what you hate, it will make the relationship go and what rebuild again, you understand? That is number two point. So now let's check the third one, which is what apologize. Yes, it is really, really important in what to rebuild broken trust in relationship. Apologize. So if your partner did something that is not good, like cheating on you, lying, betraying, and all those things, it is really proper to what apologize. It is really proper for you to apologize to your partner. Oh, I know what I did is totally bad. Please just forgive me. I I, I bet you I will turn a new living, you know, I will change from it. I promise you, as you that did something bad, you have to also what made up your mind from the you know, you have to say this apologize, you have to apologize to your partner in your deep part of it, you understand, in your deepest heart. Apologize sincerely and make sure that those things you did to your partner that hurt your partner so much you never return back to those things. You understand? So that that trust can be rebuilt again. So that is what we mean by apologizing. So the fourth one we are going to check is what learn to forgive. Yes, if you're in a relationship, or if you want to re- if you want to what rebuild broken trust in relationship, you learn you have to learn how to forgive. Because the reason why I said you have to learn how to forgive is that. We are human. Always have it in your mind that people must offend you. 
it's not easy for people to get along with you. For these reasons, you have to learn how to forgive what your partner so that the relationship can stay perfectly. You understand? So let's check the fifth one. Which one? Don't hold any, don't withdraw any what feelings. Don't withhold any feelings. Like what I mean by that is that. So when the person has already asked you to forgive or you know let's apologize to you, don't hold any what feelings anymore. Just let go of everything and embrace the new breeze, fresh and everything new again. And accept the person that this person has changed and is ready to turn everything good. You understand? That is what I mean by that. Now let's check the sixth one. Be willing to let go of the negative, just like I said before. Be willing to let go of the negative. You know all those things like, do you show this person have changed? Do you show this person will not shit on me? Do you show this person will not remain the way he is? Do you show, you know, those kind of negative thinking. A lot of that, their relationship, you have to let go of all those things. If you don't let go of all those things, you cannot be built broken trust in relationship. I'm telling you the fact. So now let's check the seven one. Be honest and ask for what you want. And yes, in relationship, you want to be build broken trust in relationship. You have to be honest and ask what do you really want? How do you want the relationship to go? Do you want the relationship to be broken or do you want it to stay? You want to keep the relationship safe? You understand? So it is not late for you to communicate it out, really speak it out so that your partner will understand what you really want. If you really want the relationship or not, you understand? Or if you, there are some things that is bothering you that you need to voice it out that your partner will understand and you can change from it. So as as, you, as an individual in a relationship, as a broken relationship, you have to work communicate this it is really what important another eight one another point which is the eighth one is that create new memories yes like i said before when the person your partner did all these things after communicating apologizing and all those things try to forget every other thing like forgive you understand create new memories all those bad memories you have in your past that your partner did to you Erase them out from your what your memories. If you don't erase them out from your memory, you're going to keep on remember remember your partner how he treated you before. You understand? You'll be telling your partner, yeah, I know you did this the last time. No. When somebody apologizes to you, it means that forgive me and forget. You understand? That is what it means. Create new world memory. So the last one, let's check it, will be what available. That is what I mean by that. Do you know the meaning why I said be available is that maybe at the beginning when you were in a relationship, you were not even having a time for your partner you know time is really attention and time is really important in a relationship okay because if you know that these things were not given your partner and that is the reason why the, the relationship get broken and now you are trying to rebuild it again if you know you are not giving your partner what that attention that values and all those things Try much as possible to be giving your partner those time and value. Let me give you an example. If you are that kind of woman that is very busy or a man that is very busy and now you want to rebuild your, your trust relationship, you have to create time. And you understand? They say when you love somebody, you have to create time for that person. You have to create time for communication. You have to create time to have fun. You have to create time you know, to discuss whatever the problem or just life or future things. That is what I mean by what well, they valuable, you understand? So that is it. Keep to this rules and regulations or keep to this element I just mentioned above. I bet you you are going to be able to rebuild your relationship, okay? So that is just the fact about this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or any comments, please, don't, what are you waiting for? Keep it down below and I will get back to you. Bye guys. See you some other time with another interesting topic.